So in the first phase of NPTEL, mm. I remember Professor Mangal Sundar. Mm. I was on campus when he was pretty active. Mm. So we used to have these recorded yeah. classes, right? So I also sat in some recorded classes. And I think uh, a lot of the undergrad level courses that were being taught at IIT Madras were recorded full and full. Yeah, uh, exactly the as they happen in class. Yeah. And they were put up on the portal and people could see it. So the reasoning was there are a lot of colleges in India, a lot of people go to many colleges and and it's it's hard to hire the teachers that IITs have everywhere. I mean, that same level of quality is very hard to hire. The finances don't work, so many things don't work. So, uh, if you record the classes that happen here, then people everywhere get a chance to at least get a peep into the classes at IIT. Right. Because otherwise, IITs are these really tough places to get in, right? I mean, the, the entry barrier is so harsh today. It's very, very hard to get in. So this ended up being really, really useful for that particular purpose. By 2010, 11, 12, that time period, internet had become a little bit more popular. 3G made a big difference. You could start seeing videos now if you, I mean, it was not very easy as now, but it was still much, much easier. And around 11, 12, etc., MOOCs also became a very popular word. And I want to stress this. So NPTEL started doing the lecture recording and spreading it out before a good one decade before MOOCs became a thing. Oh yeah, oh, no doubt about it, no doubt about it. It's, it was so popular even then. <laughs>